Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 1st through January 7th. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. It may not resonate fully. Just take what does and leave the rest. Confusion on the horizon. Choices, options. Maybe you're deciding whether to stay or go. You're not sure. You might be losing sleep. Should I stay? Should I go? What am I going to do here? It feels like you're really decide trying to make a decision. You know, where's my heart's desire? What, what, what am I going to do next? You may have a choice between two people. Maybe you want to go in a different direction. I do see some confusion here. Maybe you're stuck in one spot uh, due to... Uh, materialistic things, you know, that you can't leave, but the love isn't there. That could certainly be the case, as this card would sometimes suggest. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Definitely thinking about letting something go, okay? Just walking away completely. Um... Where's that card right there? But, you know, there's some security there. So if you walk away, you have to leave that security behind. Okay, but it doesn't fulfill your wishes in love. So this is really a toss-up between, you know, uh, security, stability, money, home, or love. What's it going to be? You know, do I stay or do I go? What's the deal here? This is for the sign of cancer. And this may not resonate with everybody, all right? So you guys may be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. that Maybe they're thinking about letting go or they're starting to let go or something. One of you is deciding or thinking about just walking away from the whole situation. You know, it's kind of heavy. It feels like that somebody is starting to give up or has given up and they're just waiting for the perfect moment to leave. Um, they're definitely thinking about it, that's for sure. You know, with the tower here, something is crumbling, and it's crumbling pretty quickly. Um, but it's leading you to something else because we have that wheel here. It's like it's time to start a new chapter in your life anyway. There's been some lies. There's been some deceit. Whether you're deceiving yourself or there's been some cheating, I don't know. But this is lies, deceit, sneaky, cheating, you know. So you could be lying to yourself or they could be lying to you. Whatever the case is, you figure that out. Either way, uh, somebody is absolutely worried about this. You know, losing sleep, 100% losing sleep, very worried, a lot of anxiety. What am I going to do now? You know, I, I, I really don't want to be alone, but, you know, my wishes are not being fulfilled here. All right? It feels like somebody is not um, being honest in this situation. There's some dishonesty. Um, and it's crumbling. This 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 secret that's being hidden is probably going to come out sooner than later. Okay, um, the fact is, is somebody is, somebody is ignoring their intuition with this high priestess reversed as the basis of your reading. I mean, your intuition is trying to tell you something, but somebody's ignoring it. Okay, there's some kind of split or separation that is being thought about, okay, it's being, um, it's on your mind, okay, wanting to leave, wanting to, wanting to free yourself, wanting to let go of this, it's really heavy, but you're, maybe you're afraid of how you'll be judged by others if you let it go, you know, because we have the judgment card here, you know, maybe, maybe that's part of the issue is, is what, what's everybody going to say if we do this, you know, or if we, you know, we look like idiots, something like that, um, the fact of the matter is, is people change. As they get older, you know, people change. You know, throughout time, people change. So you got to chalk it up to that, you know. We're all evolving every single day. This is There's a reason for everything. There's a purpose for everything. When that Wheel of Fortune comes out in a reading, it says that good fortune is on the way. Whether it is um, money, 
or a new relationship or just a brand new start altogether. The Wheel of Fortune is in your reading. It tells me that you're about to start something new and it's very welcome, it's unexpected, it's destiny and it's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Okay, good luck is on the way, Cancer. You just have to follow your intuition. You have to follow your heart as well. The thing is, is I think that many of you have been lacking compassion, you know, for your own needs, for your own desires, trying to, to give to somebody who isn't reciprocating. Okay, you've just been not taking care of yourself while taking care of somebody else. And it feels like somebody else hasn't been really putting in the effort. Perhaps they're not compromising. They're not communicating. They're not cooperating. They're hiding stuff from you, you know, or you're hiding stuff from them. Somebody's hiding something from somebody here. And it looks like you could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And there's a lot of anguish here. There's a lot of depression, losing sleep, wanting more. You know, I know this, you know, I thought this was going to fill my, my wishes, but it doesn't look like it is. Okay, it doesn't, it looks like it's really, really heavy and somebody is getting ready to walk away. Okay, the thing is, is it's a wake up call. There is an awakening here with the judgment card. It's, it is time to shed the past when the judgment comes out. You're so, so close. All you need to do is forgive yourself, release the past, open your eyes. And do what you need to do for you it doesn't matter what other people think and I think that's a very big deal here you know you know you might think that that you are a failure and that's not the case that's not we have destiny okay with these two cards there's destiny and karma here there's there's lessons to be learned there's a reason for this you know there's a lot of love to be had but somebody is not reciprocating so it feels like there's somebody that's watching this feels very insecure with the partner they're they're with it's like this person has a very big ego and you can't meet it okay you can't meet their expectations um and it feels like they're not honoring you they're not they're not um giving you the love, the compassion, the friendship, the companionship that you need to thrive. They may be able to provide for you financially or they help you pay the bills or whatever that is, but as far as love goes, it's just, it's not there. It's not there. Now, I don't know who this is for. I'm sure it's not for everybody, all right? We're going to get some more cards. I do see that big change is on the way with this and this. These are both completions right here with this card too. I mean, there's completions here. I feel like, you know, one phase of your life is just about over and you're about to start a new one. I think a secret is about to come out if it hasn't come out already. A secret or um, truth that somebody's been hiding, okay? This truth is going to come out, which is, what, what is it's going to change your life. And it's going to cause you some confusion, which it, you're already confused. I see the confusion is already here. You could be getting the silent treatment, or you may be giving the silent treatment, okay? Somebody may not be communicating at all, and it's really causing some stress. Like, you don't even know what the hell is going on. Something is ending, okay? Something is definitely ending. Um, that's a death of a, an idea. Death of an idea, death of a notion, death of a relationship, death of something. It's the end, an ending is on the horizon to something, you know, because you can't prevent it from crumbling down with these two cards. It's like you've been trying to prevent it from ending. You've been putting in all that you can put in, showering something with love and attention, but... It's like it's just not it's not being reciprocated. All right, there's that ten of wands again. You've been holding on to it. You've been um, trying to stall this separation from happening. It's like I just don't want to be alone. It's like almost like there's a codependency thing here. 
all right? I don't want to be alone, so I'll stay stuck here, even if it's heavy, even if it hurts, even if I know it's crumbling down. It feels like something is so close to being at the end, but you're holding on. You are absolutely holding on. Um, you know, and it's not, the thing is, is it's not bringing you peace and harmony. And that's all you really want, is you want that peace and harmony back, okay? It feels like, you know, the future's in your hands, but you're not taking action. You're not. It's like you're not taking action. It's like you don't want to know the truth. I don't want to know the truth, even though I do. I know the truth. I know this isn't working out. I know that it's time to let go. I know that it's time to let this end, but I can't. I just can't. I can't separate from this person because, you know, in the past it was so good. In the past it was love, but now it's anguish. Okay? It just feels like it doesn't lead to wish fulfillment where you're at and you're contemplating a change and it's a big one. Okay, look at this. We have the tower over the tower and the ten of wands over the ten of wands. Okay, this is a big deal. Okay, something is a false foundation. It was built up based on a past love. But the fact of the matter is the past love has grown into anguish. It's grown into... Um, You know, getting the silent treatment. No more talking about it. No more hand-holding. No more um, cooperation. You know, it started out as love. It did. It started out as love. But now it looks like it's just fallen right apart. It's fallen right apart. But And you can't let it go for fear. I think there's an ego issue. And there's a pride issue here. And there's a, what's everybody going to say? We look like idiots thing is, is you don't look like idiots because many people, many, 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 many people go through these changes, okay? So it's definitely not just you, okay? So I don't, I don't feel like um, there's something stable here. I feel like something is crumbling down that's going to lead you to a new chapter with that Wheel of Fortune. It's bringing you closer to the one. And if you want to know about new love, I think that you do have new love on the horizon in the future, maybe six months out from, from when you complete this, this cycle, okay? When you complete this, um, whatever it is you're in, Okay, whatever it is you're in, once you finally free yourself from it, once you finally drop it and really walk away and let it crumble and stop resisting the fall, you know, once you let it fall, fall let it go, you know, I think maybe, you know, six to nine months out, you will have somebody else. Maybe it's somebody that you've known before. Maybe it's somebody from your past. I see predominant water signs here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that you may be dealing with. And it feels like you just can't let go of them because the love was there once, but it feels, and you're still there, the love, you still love them, the love is still there, but it's not where it used to be, and you're looking for something more. And they may not be re reciprocating to you, and it's over. That Four of Swords is the death of an idea, okay? It is. You have other options. You absolutely do have other options, okay? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you have to take action. You have to free yourself from this situation that you're in right now. Right now, you're just resisting it, and I think it's because of, you know, for fear of what everybody else is going to say, for one, for your ego, you know, and for codependency issues. I don't want to be alone. You know, it feels like, and you may want to avoid conflicts. You know, that could be an issue as well. I don't want to deal with this. You know, I don't want the conflicts here. Like attracts like. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> interesting. That's a good one. I'm going to read it. That's pretty. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. When we want to create something, the law of attraction states that we need to be in the vibration of what we want to create. Love will come to you easily if you surround yourself with love and easily find things to love about your life. Take a moment to think of the many things you love. Like attracts like. That's interesting. I feel like there's somebody else for you. And this must be for singles. It must be. Maybe it's for couples that are on the verge of a split. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just telling you what I feel. I feel like somebody is not giving the right amount of um, love, cooperation, communication, compromise, um, love to another person in whoever you're dealing with okay and you're resisting it because it was there once upon a time it was there and and the conflicts that come with letting it go are big and nobody wants those conflicts you may you could have a chance to repair it i mean you could if you're longing for more love in your life you need to be more loving if you want to repair this situation Act with love and see if they reciprocate. This is a test. It is. If you, it, and see if they reciprocate. If they reciprocate, then there's a chance for healing. If they don't, then it's time to let go. Okay, it's all in your hands. It is. So Cancer, this is what I have January 1st through January 7th. I'm sorry, it's not the best reading ever. Um, I tell it like I see it. I tell it like I feel. It is what it is. Talk to you later.